problem. We're going to use our set, or not our set theory, but our logic and our symbols and our knowledge of numbers to see if some statements are true or false. So it's a true or false problem. First problem on the left, the upside down A means for all. So we're saying for all x from the real numbers, is it true or false that x squared doesn't equal negative 1? Well, let's think to ourselves, do you know any numbers which squared equal negative 1? There's really only a couple, right? The only numbers that would work here is if x equals i, because i squared is negative 1, and x being equal to negative i, because negative i squared would also be negative 1. But notice that our universal quantifier is over r, which is over all real numbers. So there are a couple numbers that don't work, but they're not in r. So therefore, this statement here is going to be a true statement. Okay, how about on the right? On the right it says backwards e, and that stands for there exists, so is there an x in z, the integers, such that x squared equals the number 2? So again, let's use our knowledge of numbers. Do you happen to know any numbers whose squares are equal to 2? I know a couple. There's one called rad2, and there's one called negative rad2. However, rad2 and negative rad2 are not integers they are not integers. So does there exist an integer that makes this true? We found two numbers that make it true, but those two numbers are not integers. And therefore, this statement is a false statement. Okay, see how you got to reason through these? Kind of look at the quantifier, look at the statement, and see if you can determine whether it's true or false. So pause the video, see if you can do these two problems on your own. Okay, assuming you paused it and tried it out, the first statement says, for all x that are integers, we have that x squared is bigger than 0. So you might test some numbers here if you're curious. You might try 1 squared, that's equal to 1, great. 5 squared, that's equal to 25. Integer, so I could have negatives. How about negative 2 squared, that's equal to 4. So it looks like so far it's always bigger than 0. But it is a universally quantified statement. Can you imagine any number that wouldn't square to be bigger than zero? Well, how about zero itself? Zero squared equals zero, and zero is not actually bigger than zero, it's equal to zero. So even though the statement is almost always true, just having one counterexample means this now becomes a false statement. So did you get the left-hand side false? Hopefully you did. On the right-hand side, we have, there exists an x in the real numbers such that x squared equals x. Here I'm going to do a little bit of algebra magic. x squared equals x, which mean that x squared minus x would be equal to 0, which would mean that x times x minus 1 would be equal to 0, and so the zero product property would say that x could be 0 or x could be 1. So 0 and 1 both satisfy the statement. So does there exist a real number that makes it true? Sure, in fact, there exist two numbers that make it true, both 0 and 1. And so therefore, this statement on the right is true.